Hey there, thanks very much for your purchase. It's just a quick run through. We're just doing final maintenance before we ship it out to you. Um, you can see we've got the, the knobs off at the moment. That's because we I've just cleaned the um, the pots there just to make sure they're not there's no static on them. They're all operating just fine. Um, and you've got a Getting the fret uh, the fretboard um, and oiling, feeding wax. Right now we're balanced with the tone up. That's nice. Front. Front pick up with the tone down now. And uh, the setup is uh, is like at 1.5 millimeters. So um, if I take my little Fritz ruler here, um, it's got gauges for guitar and bass and classical guitar on here. It's actually for electric guitar. Its action is low across all the strings. But yeah, it's on the low marker there. So that's like 1.5 millimeters, um, and I think that's optimal. <laughs> I think if you go any lower, you're going to start getting a little bit of choking um, up at the top frets. And if you go, if you tighten the truss any more than it already is, you'll get some choking down here. So th this is what I believe is optimal on this particular bass. For me, it's perfectly comfortable. That's my favorite setup anyway. Um, I don't know everybody's different have different their different preferences but um this is rear pickup with the tone up tone down now Yeah, so it's it's feeling pretty good, you know, um, for a, a bass that's just like, a, you know, 34 years old, this one is, um, 1986, um, it's doing pretty well for its, for its age, I reckon, um, all in, in good work in order. Um, so yeah, it's going to take a little while to reach you, unfortunately, because of the, the terrible um, situation due to the pan pandemic and, and uh, you know, shipping uh, has been delayed to so many places, uh, it limited services, blah, 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 blah. We just can't tell, unfortunately, but it should reach you eventually. <laughs> We just can't, unfortunately, guarantee it unless we use UPS, which is going to cost a bomb. So, anyway, um, we appreciate your patience. Um, of course, I'm going to pop the knobs back on before we ship it out to you. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, that it's all hunky-dory and ready to, pretty much ready to go.
So uh, we'll also enclose a, uh, a care guide with you, with it, sorry, not with you, but with the bass. Um, and um, that will just give you some tips on, on basically uh, basic maintenance and like you might need to, to adjust the, the neck slightly when it reaches you um, so that it's optimal uh, because it might shift um, due to climatic change. But these are usually pretty solid and, and it, it might only be a minuscule change that needs to be made. So, you know, and there's still room on the, the saddles to go up or down. Um, like I said, I don't think, I think it's optimal right now. Um, and if you try and go down on the saddles anymore, it'll probably get fizzy up at the top here. But that's very, it's very fluid though. Very nice. It was just as good as any Fender Japan that I've played anyway, put it that way. So that's that's great. Um, yeah, thanks again. And uh, we'll be sending your tracking info through uh, soon. All right, cheers.